Hey, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about scaled quail, also known as blue scale quail, or uh, some areas of the country they call them uh, cotton top quail because they do have a, a tough uh, feathers on top of their head and especially in the males it'll be a nice uh, uh, white color normally so anyways these are pretty cool birds they lay a speckled egg uh, kind of like a cream colored egg with with a few speckles on it they're from the they're originally from the Midwest of North America so kind of like the the Texas Oklahoma um, area uh, into into Mexico they lay anywhere from like I don't know like eight to twenty eggs per female and I think though if you put lights on them and and whatnot you can actually get more from that but in the wild they they're supposed to only lay like eight to you know twenty or so but anyways uh, they're a pretty good bird you can get away with feeding them a normal uh, quail crumble of course they will like treats and things they'll eat bugs they'll eat uh, uh, fruit and, and other things as well uh, very opportunistic birds um, if you notice these birds are a little bit uh, active uh, running around in the corner they're pretty skittish and in this pen here they really don't have anything to hide from uh, hide behind and so my goal is I'm going to be building uh, flight pens kind of like a a long netted uh, tunnel and so what I'll probably do is I'll start off I'll start off fresh with blue scales and I'll probably just order a bunch of chicks and and raise them up and get larger numbers and after I build the pens but I've, I've learned a lesson uh, with these quail having them and they, they really do need uh, a place where they can feel safe and 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 secure and hide behind so uh, beyond just like a shelter, you know, like you know, they have a roof here, but they need something that they can actually uh, hide behind. So whenever I come in to feed, they're uh, bouncing around and crazy a lot more so than my other uh, breeds of quail. So they definitely need uh, cover. So I, I do like the quail; they're very pretty, and and they they do have some really neat, neat sounds and stuff, but. If I was to offer anybody that's trying to get into blue scaled coil, um, definitely have some kind of a pen system where they can have cover. And I could probably, you know, if I really wanted to, I could probably just put some, either some potted plants in there or I could, you know, uh, maybe some branches and kind of build something inside this pen. But I think I'm going to go the other route and just build a whole bigger enclosure and and just get more uh, quail. I could, you know, do a little bit of both and maybe just raise these birds here and and hatch out and put their babies into the other pen, but I think, you know, to prevent inbreeding, you know, down the line, I'm just gonna just start off fresh and, and order. But they're really great birds, uh, other than that, I would recommend them for a lot of people. These here are definitely not going to be an egg producing um, quail if you're wanting eggs on a regular basis because they just, you know, they, they're mainly uh, clutch birds. So, and then for eating, there again, they, they have a decent size to eat. And so, I mean, you know, if you have extra males, you know, you could eat them, but they're not very economical for mass production so you aren't going to want to sit there and just eat a bunch of them because it, it takes so long for them to become uh mature you know you're looking around six months old before they'll start laying and even then they have a short laying season they're not very domesticated like your your bob whites or your codonics especially your codonics so these birds here you're only going to get you know say two dozen eggs and a two month breeding season out of the year so you really can't uh, uh, mass produce these enough to have a sustainable meat source you know if you just want to eat them once or twice a year you know sure but 
anyway, so they're pretty good birds. I mean, they're, they're more like, a, I guess you would classify them more as an ornamental bird just because they're, they're pretty and, you know, they're not well suited for uh, table birds compared to others. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, uh, comment below and I will be more than happy to, to answer as quick as I can. And I will see you next time. Alright, so in here, these are uh, the blue scales. As you can see, they got some white feathers on their heads. Um, so anyways, that's them. Looks like a trio. Um, there's the two with the, like, the light brown on the back of their heads. And the male has, it's a bit darker and uh, there on the far left. But, so yeah, that, that's them closer up.